So I wanted to make this first entry about um, a project I'm very, very excited about. So yesterday we actually submitted a grant application because we're asking for money in order to develop the research um, for this project. And I'm super excited about the idea. Um, so quantum mechanics and general relativity are the most fundamental theories that we have of nature. Quantum mechanics explains the world of the very, very small, where atoms live. And um, general relativity tells us about um, the universe at very, very big scales, where galaxies and planets and so on live. Um, and, well, one of the predictions of general relativity is that accelerated masses would produce gravitational waves. So imagine that you take a stone and you throw it into a pond, and then uh, the stone will produce these perturbations in, in the water, well, in the same way, general relativity predicts that if you have a system, say, of two stars, a binary system, and one is rotating around the other, and they're rotating around each other, they would produce these sort of waves, but instead of um, producing them in the water, like when you throw the stone, they are uh, produced in, um, in space-time. There are space-time uh, waves. And well, there are big efforts uh, taking place in order to demonstrate the existence of these gravitational waves. So there's um, um, gravitational wave interferometers, like for example LIGO. There are um, very, very big experiments. So LIGO has, um, it's, it's um, light that is um, emitted from a point in a, in, into uh, two directions uh, and then reflected through mirrors and then it interferes back again at some point, but these arms are four kilometers big and the mirrors are 10 kilograms um, heavy. So the thing is that we came up with an idea on how to measure gravitational waves using quantum systems. So using a system that's quantum mechanical, but it's one micrometer big, from one to 100 micrometers. So what's very special about uh, this proposal is that um, these systems are made of many atoms, say 10 to the 7 atoms, and they're cooled down to very, very low temperatures, a few nanokelvin. This is the coldest thing we can uh, produce on, on Earth. And at those temperatures, quantum systems became, become super, super sensitive. So what um, we're very excited about is that um, the studies that we've been making show us that this Bose-Einstein condensate could be sensitive to gravitational waves emitted by very high-frequency um, um, phenomena. So this would correspond, for example, to the merger of two neutron stars or over even black holes. And what's really special about this is that these systems tell us very important information about the origin of our universe. They're used to measure, for example, cosmological distances. So having a device that will allow you to measure gravitational waves or those frequencies would um, tell us important um, secrets about the origin of our universe. So usually when we study cosmology, we look at objects that are very, very distant because the further away we see an object in the sky, the more we looked into the past of the universe. That's why these very bright objects are important and um, objects that generate a lot of energy. However, what we know about these astrophysical events, um, we know through light. So we stand here on Earth and we have our telescopes and our instruments and we detect the phon photons that come from the very, very distant regions of our universe. So let's say we know the universe through the light that comes from the universe. Um, onto Earth. But this device would work in a very different way. It doesn't detect light, it detects gravitational waves. So this means we would be learning about the origins of the universe through the fabric of space-time itself, through gravity, not through radiation. And I find this super exciting because, you know, a microscope or a telescope are instruments that we invented that opened a new window for us to understand the universe. With microscopes, we discovered the world of the microscopic um, 
the the the, the viruses, the cells, um, and even smaller molecules, atoms. So it opened a whole new window and a whole new view of the world as well. And this allowed us to develop a lot of technologies, right? We were able to develop um, uh, all kinds of things, uh, cures for diseases, uh, new materials, uh, you name it. And on the other hand, with the telescopes as well, we discovered that we live in a galaxy, that there's other galaxies out there, that there are planets, um, and, and so on. So the way that we see ourselves in this universe has changed thanks to these uh, new uh, instruments. So the excitement right now is that we will be able to develop a new instrument that will open a new window because we will be able to know the universe through different eyes. Not only the eyes of light and radiation, but also through uh, uh, space-time. So we'll, I'll keep you posted on any developments in this project.